In this video, I'll show you how to create a custom business email for your WordPress website when it's already added to Cloudflare account. Well, if you don't know what Cloudflare account is and how to configure your website, I made a separate tutorial. Links to those will be in the description. But in this video, I'll show you how to create a custom business email just by using Cloudflare and then we'll use Gmail to receive and send emails. All right, let's get into the tutorial. Click on the first link in the description and that will take you to Google Workspace. This is where we can create our custom email address, right? So click on start free trial button. Just fill in your first name if this is your first time and put in your surname. Just put in your current email address. It can be a Gmail address, it can be any email address. And maybe you can pick a company, right? Maybe we can pick two to nine people. So we actually want to set it up for an existing domain, right? When your website is already added to Cloudflare, it means that you already own a domain. Again, you can check out description for that tutorial. So I'll just click on select and just enter the domain name. The domain name that I'm going to add is called digitalalgorithm.com. You just put in your domain name and extension. If it's .org or anything, just put that. Mine is digitalalgorithm.com and I'll just click on continue. Click on continue again. Now choose a username username at the rate your website dot com or dot extension right you can see that after username i have my domain extension which is what you'll find for yourself so i'll just create simple one so it's karthik dot raj just pick a password click on i'm not a robot click on create account so it will give you this welcome screen click on next it will ask you to validate your domain just click on validate i'm ready to protect my domain now it's telling me to go to namecheap and manage my dns but you know what my website is already in DigitalOcean, so I don't need to go to Namecheap. Instead, I have to go to DigitalOcean. Click on step two. Step one, it will find out where your domain is with which registrar. Usually, if you have it added to your hosting account, your domain will be transferred to your hosting account. In this case, my website is hosted on DigitalOcean. But if you have any other hosting, even that is fine. Now, it will ask us to verify our domain so that it can identify that it's us who's trying to create this email address for our domain. So we need to do that. Now it's asking me to create a TXT verification method, which is recommended. So we'll do that. All you need to do is to click on this value and that will copy the text. So there's a text called Google hyphen site verification. Just click on that and that will copy the text to clipboard. Now go to your hosting account or in this case, we'll go to Cloudflare because our website is added to Cloudflare. So in Cloudflare, click on your website. And once you're in the website, click on DNS. In here, there's something called add record. Just click on that. Now under type, click on here and select TXT. Usually TXT records are used for verification. Type at the rate under name, TTL, leave it at auto. Content, just paste whatever you've copied. Click on save. Now, in case you didn't know what you copied, when you clicked on this, the text was copied to the clipboard. That's what you had to paste it in here. You can also edit it at any time in case you copied or pasted the wrong thing. You can simply remove this and paste the actual verification key. Click on save and that will verify our site for us. All we need to do once you add that in Cloudflare is click on protect domain. So that will take some time and verify our domain and that will automatically activate our custom email address on our domain. And next we just need to add few more MX records which let us send and receive emails using Gmail. So once this step is completed, I'll resume this tutorial and that's what you have to do. Usually it's completed within five to 10 minutes. Just wait for it and we'll come back. In the Google workspace, my it shows that digitalalgorithm.com, which is my domain is protected. That means Gmail is set up. Now you can simply add few more records to complete the process. And if you're using the free Cloudflare email by any chance, just disable that so that this will work. Right. If you go to Cloudflare, there's something called email. Just disable this email routing completely if you have it enabled by any chance so that it'll freely work with a Google workspace. So it's asking me, are you a team of one? Are you a team of many? Just click on continue. So that will take us to this admin console, right? We don't need to create new users because we already have a user, which is the username that you picked while creating this, right? I'll simply click on activate. I'll click on I'm ready to activate Gmail. All right, now again, it's scanning my domain and it's saying you have to go to Namecheap, whereas I don't need to go to Namecheap. I have to just go to Cloudflare. It doesn't even matter which hosting you're on. 
I'll click on next go to step 2 and it's asking me now there's something weird with this right just click on activate gmail although it shows us to log into namecheap and do something we're not on namecheap so it's asking us to do something on namecheap but when you click on activate gmail in step 2 it will give you these records we'll add these records manually so how do you do that well again go to dns under your website in cloudflare click on record this time we'll be adding mx records right so scroll down click and choose mx type is at the rate mail server you have to copy the first one copy and paste this priority is one ttl you can leave it at auto that click on save that is the first record similarly we have to add four more records i guess so copy the second one repeat the process for all the records right type you have to pick mx name at the rate mail server paste this and priority i think it's five and click on save but when i go back to my google workspace it says mx records are already updated i just added one record i think you just need to add one record to verify that or two records right if you add this record it will be just enough in case you can also add all the records that will also do the thing click on finish and that will activate gmail on your website all right now all you need to do well go to gmail.com and log in your email address right your professional email address it's as simple as that you can see i'm already logged in but i can also sign out or if i'm not logged in i can pick this email which is karthik.raj at the red digital algorithm.com and i have to type the password that i've picked and click on next and click on i understand this is a new account so just like that we have set up gmail and whatever email is sent to karthik.raj at the red digital algorithm.com i'll be receiving it using gmail now you can use your mobile phone app right you can use the app to sign in and use it just like regular email but if you look carefully it's basically your professional email which is up and running with gmail and that is it now in your cloudflare i don't know why it just required two records or one record to activate gmail but just to be on safe side you can also add other records right other mx records so the next one you just need to copy this content and change the number this is alt 2 and priority can be 5 for this click on save we just need to add two more records click on add record again choose mx from the drop down copy this make sure there's no space alt 3 and priority can be 10 for this click on save username is at the rate this is totally an optional step you can skip this step but i'm just making sure that nothing goes wrong so i'm adding these records manually i just need to change this number from 3 to 4 or 2 to 4 and i'll add 10 save and that's it that's all you need to receive and send email addresses now you can log in using the username right using a professional username and password that you have created for your domain while creating the google workspace account also you can go to admin.google.com and see all your things in action it will show you all the websites all the domains you can also add another domain so you can if i go to admin.console.com home i can click on add domain and repeat this process if i want to add another domain right you can just simply pick another domain address and create professional email for those now this is three us dollars per month per user so depending on the number of domains and the number of users you have you'll be charged you get 30 gigs of storage i believe per user and you get access to all the google apps so it's cool try it out let me know what you guys think in the comments and for more tutorials like this head over to wordpress tutorial for beginners playlist see you in the next one take care